What are you doing? Freezing because you put a camera in my face and I know you turned it on, so What's I'm that? not. What? Don't look at this. This is not pretty right now. I did, I abused it. So what Maverick are we working on? The other Maverick or the other, other? No, this is the other Maverick. This is the other Maverick. Currently, oh yeah, this is the. Why? Stick and shake. Okay. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Wait, move your hair. Okay. Yeah. After watching Billy's. What? Okay. Don't look Watch it. Don't. No, we gotta pull him. Pull him straight. Billy's are always crooked. You talking shit? I'm gonna yeah. tell him. Yeah. As soon as I, I'm gonna go up to him and just pull him out. <laughs> I'll fucking go to him. Cut him. Go cut him. Just That's cut him. Better. Just bring some scissors. <laughs> That'd be funny. That's a dick move. Uh, so what are we doing here? We have a car. What year? I know people have already seen this car, but this and that. But what year is it? <laughs> what year is this? <laughs> I'm crying. What year is it? What year are you? Shit. What make model and year is this vehicle? Like we're going to AutoZone. Oh god. This is a 1969 and a half Ford Maverick. Very first year it's Ford Maverick. Did not come stock with 347 and T5. Today we are making up for my inability to drive a stick shift. <laughs> my, my amateur abilities. I may have took a little bit of material off of my clutch because I didn't know how to do a burnout, apparently. I didn't understand that like, you know, bring it up and dump the clutch meant like bring it up to 6,000 and dump the clutch. I was like 3,000, so I screwed it up. So my pedal like engages up here when I want it to engage like down here. So I have a very nifty McLeod hydraulic throwout bearing and I can disconnect the line and like spin it by like sticking my hand through a little hole in the side of the trans, I can spin it and give myself more, more plant load. Oh yeah, what clutch do you have? I've got an act clutch, cause it acts like I know how to drive and I don't. <laughs> Beautiful ACT clutch that I damaged. Cause I'm dumb, but it's fine. Uh, it's a learning curve. Okay, it's my first time attempting to do an actual burnout with a stick shift car. Do you feel that driving an 11 second, possibly 10 second, five speed car is more difficult than driving your other car? Yes and no. It's different, it's different. There's more mechanics of it, like you're doing more, but also like if something goes wrong in a very fast radial car, it goes wrong quick. So when a radial car is running the way it should, it's easy. I feel to drive. This thing's hard to drive no matter what. Like you're always doing shit. And then I make it harder because there's no tack, no shift light, you no gauges. You don't make it harder. It's the car that I pick. No two steps, no nothing. No, I'll figure it out eventually. I could have all these things. I could have a two step and a line lock and a tack and a shift light and all the fun stuff that actually helps you learn how to drive any of these things, but I don't. So I guess uh, I'm learning the hard way. Well, let's get into this. What wrenches are you gonna need? I have no idea. Okay, those. I got them. <laughs> Should be enough, right? No, I won't need that. I won't need an 1160. I hope not. I hope I won't need something that big. This is where <laughs> the lift would be. Yes. What are you doing right there? Uh, disconnecting the line ah, to the throw bearing so I can shove it inside the trans and spin it around with the throw bearing. Is that a plug? What? <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were filming already. We're back. You know what would be really nice right now? If it'll lift. Right about now, yeah. Freaking lift. I'd be in this awkward mm. position. <laughs> it's coming. It's already loose. Never mind. I don't need the wrenches anymore. Ooh, it's dripping down my fingers. Yeah, your fingers are going to feel real good after that. Oh, they already do. <laughs> Come on. It's coming out. Very nice. 
very nice. Can I get a rag, sir, please? Do <laughs> <laughs> should put some gloves on? It's like the the fingers are right up against the throttle bar. Mm -hmm. I try to spin it because you know normally it's like it spins pretty freely. It does not spin pretty freely right yeah, now. Yes, so you gotta back I'm gonna it turn off. it until it spins freely. Well, you have to go one full rotation, right? Yeah, at least. Well, I'm saying with the the way the the throat bearing lines exit, don't you have to do one full rotation? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, one rotation will be fine. I can't. I'm gonna do it this. <laughs> oh shit! Oh no! Lost our illumination. Why? We gotta shut the light on. Let's shut the lights on. Did you put that grease on your hands so you can rub it on your face? Yeah. Get out of here. That's something you would do. You getting it? That's, I haven't turned it yet. I'm just preparing to turn it. So no, I'm not getting it. So you're sticking through, uh, sticking your hands through the throw up bearing uh, hole, which... Through the clutch fork hole. Clutch fork hole. But I don't have a clutch fork because this is not cable. This is hydraulic. The only problem with this type of situation is uh not having a ding lift not only that but if you uh turn it once and you bleed it and it's not enough you gotta disconnect it again and do it again i don't think it needs more than one turn yeah one turn's fine i hope it doesn't need more than one turn because this. i is mean it's almost light. fine it's almost fine right now so it's not easy to turn i mean it could be reversed because maybe it's backwards maybe it's the thread start it just feels a lot harder than it did before. Like it was easy to turn it. Like what yeah, is there like see. dust in there or something? Is all my clutch dust that was supposed to be part yeah, of my clutch? Just, yeah. is, is it all inside my throat? It's all, it's all inside your, your nice precision. Yeah, it was nice at one point and then I ruined it. You know, if you're gonna tell me how to do something, you gotta like give me all the particulars. You can't just be like, yeah, Bring the RPMs up and dump the clutch. No, you gotta be like, well, rev that shit to the moon and dump the clutch. That I would have understood. I was over there being a bitch, revving up to 3000, thinking I was gonna do something. Oh, it's like not turning. Why? Why? Dear Mr. Throwout Bearing, please turn. Oh, I'm feeling the fingers. Oh, my hand's stuck. Oh. <laughs> my hand definitely would be stuck in there. Your hand wouldn't even get in here, so. Do you need a special tool? I might, actually. This will teach you to burn your clutch out. It's, it's your fault. I blame you. It's not my fault. I take no responsibility, even though it's my fault. You turned it? Just a little bit. Oh! Ooh. What? <laughs> it's like, if my arm or my hand was any bigger, I wouldn't be able to do this. This is a small hand trick right here. This is not, for anybody watching, you probably can't do this. You gotta convince your girlfriend to do it. Whoa, that was a good turn right there. You got it? No. You should have done. Before working on your car, disconnect your battery, chalk the wheels, <laughs> wear safety glasses, <laughs> and read the instruction manual in your glove compartment. Yep, I did all those things. I just, you know, it's, it's not on camera. We can pretend, right? Mm -hmm. uh, give me a special tool, please. I think I might be able to use one right now. <sighs> Jim McLeod, I might need a new one. <laughs> it's just because of the clutch dust is on the threads. Next time we'll blow it off and put it on it. Can you get it? Yeah. Yeah, it's there now. It was easier. All right. Uh, about their special tool. You just did it. it. You got it. A little persuasion from the special tool. The extra special tool. Is it looser now? Like you can spin? Huh? You can spin it now? Yeah, it's a lot looser. Well, not a lot. It's not stuck anymore. It's like it's spinning freely. So this line, the, the throwout bearing is like this in there. This, this line here is coming out of the bottom here. This line here is coming out of the top. How much crank did if you have sense. tonight? Huh? How much crank did you have Why tonight? Why are you talking to I'm not good at explaining things. I'm about as good as ex at explaining things as you are. You gotta talk to the old man, he'll set you straight. God, he's so good at explaining things.
is the bearing. Bearing, one line comes out here, one line comes out here. Blue line comes out of the bottom and the silver, blue, because you know, silver. Which one, so why is there two lines? This is to bleed it. Okay. So this connects here. This goes to the master cylinder or the slave cylinder, I don't know, master cylinder. This goes to the fluid holder contraption. <laughs> This, <laughs> you know what? If you're on my channel to learn something, <laughs> I'm sorry. Just but, a ask me the message and that way I have time to think about it, and write it out. <laughs> yeah, I'm so much better at writing it out. I can't talk at all. Okay, this is connected. See, this goes to the fluid reservoir. Well, you gotta connect them now. I so. know, but I'm saying, I'm trying to explain here, sir. So this is connected. We're gonna pretend this goes into the throwout bearing and and up into the fluid reservoir and it pulls fluid from there it, it gravity it. feeds to the pedal it and pulls the it Shh. let me explain it my way so when you you'll be down here and i'll be up there pumping the pedal when you bleed it you stick this end in a cup full of brake fluid so like when you push it in and pull it out it doesn't suck air into it so this is pulling fluid from the reservoir and this is making sure that when it sucks back up this way it's sucking fluid and not air back into the system mm -hmm. i'm just wondering why sense. you have 13 wrenches that are for a two inch job i needed two 916s but i didn't want to come down here and find out what size wrench i needed okay we'll connect them and then let's go, go back up there and grab a wrench let's, so, get, let's get on to bleeding this some bitch i'm gonna bleed you i'm sure you will she beats me don't, I do not, don't say that. So moral of the story is, please don't try and learn anything from my channel. <laughs> this is purely entertainment purposes. If you're here to watch me struggle, you've come to the right place. If you've come to learn how to work on a car, I apologize. Ah! I think we've definitely lost a significant amount of fluid. I don't think that much. It's all over my hands. There's hardly anything in there. It's covered. Who's been putting clutch dust all in there? Not me. I don't know if there's a gap that you want, like a 200,000 gap. Yes, yeah, it's, it's good, 200,000. You measured it? Yeah, I measured it. I figured you did. Yep, I stuck my feely gauges in there. Where's my 916? Okay. So. Now I'm gonna stick your ass under here with a cup of brake fluid. Okay, I'm gonna wear gloves. That's probably a good idea. I'm gonna have to like soak my hands in lotion tonight. Okay. It's gonna be terrible. Okay, so you're supposed to hold that that little bleeder line in the thing of fluid, a little container of fluid, and then push the pedal down slowly and release it slowly. And keep doing that. And the person underneath the car that's holding the container. Container. You got the container? It's in the container, go. They're supposed to tell you when there's no more bubbles. Yeah. Bubbles. No more bubbles. Oh. Quick. Two pumps and, and done? Yeah, yeah. So when there's no more bubbles, that means that the system is full of fluid and there's no more air in it. And that that's when you're, you're nice and bled. Down there, I was trying to show you, but like, just like I uh, see our boots from there to there, and it goes. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay, so what's next? Take the oh. carb, you gotta take the carburetor off and drain the oil. Remove the carburetor, drain the earl. Okay, what's next? Huh? Carburetor, uh, drain the oil and then take the carburetor off. 
Why are you taking the carburetor off this time? Because we're upgrading the carburetor again. This one was good. We saw improvements. But we want more. What are we going to? An 850? 950. 950. 950. That performs like an 850. That performs like an 850. Yeah. A 950 Holly style that performs. <laughs> Your legs broke? What do you. <laughs> <laughs> Performs like a Holly 850. I get on that. My fingers feel like like keyboard gloves. They they're they like feel like rubbery. Like, like yeah. They're gloves. Oh, I could do it. My dad used to do this thing. He'd like sneak up behind you and like do this in your ear, and it sounds like a bug. Like yeah. You're doing it. Yeah, I've never been able to do it. Just dip your hands in. Yeah, brake dip your fluid. hands in brake fluid. That's the secret. <laughs> that was the, the berry thing. Everybody that knew it was like, ah, oh, the, the bug thing. The thing, the bug. Oh, I can do it. I'm going to be doing this all the time now. What are you doing? What? I told you already, I'm draining the Earl. Oh, I'm going to hit my elbow. More leverage. <sighs> I need more space. To put my arms. Oh, hey. <laughs> it saved my elbow. Can I do it without getting Earl on my fingers? Oh, I need a new thing too. Oh, a new gasket? Yeah, it's copper. Is it smooshed? Yeah. How long is this thing? <laughs> <laughs> You're about to find out. I am. Oh, it's like right there. Well, that's dirty. Oh, that's gross. Huh? It's real dirty. Yeah. What happened? I was trying to pull it out and it kept getting stuck to the oil pan, the magnet. The magnet? Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. All right. Well, you can do the carburetor wire. We'll leave that right oh, there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, carburetor time. Got your pinchers? Got pinchers? The big, the big Earl pump. Earl Let me see if this is going to work. Oh, look at that. You done with the pinchers? I'm done with the pinchers. Is this a solid roller or hydraulic roller cam? Hydraulic. And we had a 7,000 pill on it and you were all over it. All over it. How am I gonna know where it is if I don't hit it 12 times? Huh? Not like I have a tack to tell me where it's at. Just rev it up till it nose is over. One drop of oil in the hand. Look at that. I feel accomplished. <laughs> That's a first for me. You can't put that on you. We don't have any oil to put in there. You rope around the thing. Do what again? Rope around the thing. Like what? Where are the people that do the glasses? Oh. No, just use the old oil and rub it on there. It's fine. Don't take that off. What? See what you do is you take this off and you throw it in the trash because you don't need this. It'll seal without it. Please remember that thing I said about not learning anything from my job. Did you see the, uh, the picture that Aaron posted of the girl pouring oil down in the... Yes. Uh, you should have seen it on Facebook because Eric from Procharger left a pretty funny comment on it. He said, I don't care what she's doing. I'll drain the radiator while she tells me about her OnlyFans and then I'll take her to sushi afterwards. Uh, R&R carburetor a second time. So spark plugs and carburetor install tomorrow. And the oil. We change tires. And change, oh, we're busy tomorrow. And blast it down the street. Oh, I have to do the lines too, huh? This is me. Kind of sort of tape. Enough tape to oh, like, it didn't make a mark. It's gonna leak. It's fine. Oh, that smells like normal gas. What am I, a peasant? It smells mostly like pump gas. 
Oh, the carburetor we're putting on is not a, uh, huh? it's not a light one, it's heavy. You know, we couldn't have done this like. Huh? Oh, don't spill. Your sister borrowed them for her, her child's prom for the camera, but I didn't want her to take all the lenses. And we were out of town that weekend. I think we were in Texas. So I just took all the lenses out of my bag. And this is where they ended up. This is where they belong. What wrench size is that? That one. Exactly. Hmm. Jeez. I didn't put that on there, but it was me. Why would I do that? You were buff that day. Um, is that all it took? <laughs> Here you go again. You the <laughs> dork? I don't know what to do with my hands. Tomorrow we're going to put the new carburetor on. Oh. Change we, spark plugs. We, we could. Are going to we are, we are going to test some stuff. New carburetor tomorrow, spark plugs. We're gonna put oil in it, put the filter on, and we're gonna go shift some gears. Anything else? Catch you tomorrow. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What you doing? Falling asleep <laughs> standing up. These things suck. Oh, it's just gonna be too much. Oh, no, still not enough. So people buy all these expensive plug gappers. This isn't even the best system here. Not at all. You wanna see the best system? <laughs> what are you gapping them to? Whoa. Do we just hear? Oh, race car. Is someone getting it? Someone's getting it. I'm still falling asleep standing up. Day two. We got to do a burnout still, so let's go. Uh, yeah. And spark plugs. Honestly, you can probably do the spark plugs at the track. Yeah, I don't want to foul them by driving on the street, so. At least they're. Yeah. Gapped now. Put them in the trailer. I threw away all the boxes. No, I'll um, put them, put them in the trailer. So we're just gonna do carburetor, put oil in it, and we gotta change tires before we put it in the trailer. And that's we'll it. Blast it. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Carburetor, oil, blast it. Let's go. Our washer is directional. Not these. There's a big argument on the internet about how they are. Uh, the tape. It's like one side's flat and one side's kind of not flat, so it kind of feels like it's directional, you know? It's up for interpretation. Well, they, there's some that are inside tapered. Yeah, I know those. Like head, head But like these. Is there an actual, let's see it, is there an actual? Like this side is more flat than that side. So in my brain, I feel like the flat side should go down. Just, I don't know, it just makes my brain feel better. You know what I mean? I don't make them all even. That's what I do. Make them all the same. But I doubt it matters. But also it just, it sits, it sits better with me when they're all the same. I wonder if we could, if we should disconnect one uh, return spring. Is it, is it, your pedal's pretty stiff, huh? It's not bad. Oh, we'll just hook it up and then we can adjust it at the track. In high school, we had this thing where we, in auto shop, we competed against different schools and there were certain people that did like the, like you had to guess what size the nut was. Uh -huh. I did not compete at it at all. I thought the people that did that were absolutely insane, but like the amount of times that I guess it now, I think maybe what size is it? Seven sixteen. Hmm. Very nice. Okay, let's do the oil. You said you get oil all over the place when you put oil in it. 
I'm here to prove you wrong. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Look at that nifty spot for the little thing. That's pretty nifty. Yeah, that new washer in there. Look at that. I'm so prepared. I had a rag and a wrench down here already. Oh. I have a 50 50 chance of getting it right and then get it wrong every time. <laughs> well, I don't know why you use those wrenches on something like simple like this. I don't you, like them. Then you get it 100% right all the time. Because then you have nothing to do, you can just sit there and do this. Is that happens. another three quarter right there? Huh? Is that another? Yeah, I brought it with me. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> just in case you weren't prepared? <laughs> just in case I didn't have this one down here, but I did have this one down here, so I used it. And it worked out. Where's where the other one? Oh, see? Here, okay, pull that one <laughs> They're both the, the gear wrench. Yeah. <laughs> hey. What? Put it on there and see if you're 50% wrong. Just pick one wrench again. Right, look at that. <laughs> Stop proving me wrong on shit. I gotta squeeze myself out of here. No, don't mess with it when I'm under here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's gonna smash my face. Liquid gold. <laughs> How many does this take? Enough. I think six. Not all the ones that you got. How many is that, ma'am? Four. Five. This is number five. When you put the pins in. You put them in. It's not good. Huh? Uh, carburetor. carburetor. Alright, turn off. It's time to go test drive.
You in bed? Uh, I win the bet. We need a ride. Yeah. He didn't do it. She broke her transmission. No, she broke her transmission. Uh, yeah, I'll teach her how to do burnouts, and she was getting better and better. And then, uh, and then I got toothed. And then it, then it just hooked. <laughs> Our savior's here. Brought the tow rope. I I don't know. Like if you. Uh, uh, your transmission too. <laughs> like put it put it neutral. Fine. I, it's both. I, I really do think. Like push the clutch in. Clutch is in. Oh shit. That was with clutching. That's clutching. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Fun. Yeah, keep coming. Uh, about 20 like feet. feet. 20 feet. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's more than 10. Yeah, like a lot. Keep going. That's good. That's good. Turns around like this, does this, and like shakes your ass in the window. Terrible. Why are you, are you, did you, did, you did not just film me explain that, did you? Yeah, I did. Please say you didn't. I thought I was too far that way already. No, that was straight. Clunk. Clunk. At least it's not fucking 38 degrees outside. It's fine. It's nice out. How about that track day tomorrow? Tell you what, pushing this button's a lot easier than pushing this fucking car. I want to shake. <laughs> you want to shake? Would you stop? <laughs> no. <laughs> you Free? give me your shake. <laughs> Just push your butt on the credit. <laughs> okay. Shakes. Chocolate shake. Are you coming for shakes? I don't know. Yeah, you are, I'm fucker. Fat. I don't need a shake. It's okay for right now. Well, What'd you do? Huh? I broke everything, all of it. Uh, well, we drove out to the street to do some burnouts in the Maverick, and for some reason, we're driving a truck and trailer home. So, I'd say it went pretty well. I'd say I broke everything. I'd say we're not going to the track tomorrow, and I already bought my ticket, so, yeah. You're just gonna put another stick shift it back in it? I don't know yet. I think I might just put another stock T5 in it, just to drive it around, while I save up for better trains. TKX in her. I'm gonna go get some in and out. I'm gonna eat my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do retail therapy next week. Retail therapy? Why would I do retail therapy when I need to save up for a new trans and her end? Huh? That's retail therapy, buying your shit. Well, I can't buy it next week. That's not happening. Sell a Dodge before we do that. We sell the Dodge. Sell a Dodge, and then I can probably afford one. Oh. What? Sell it. This looks closed. All the lights are off. Can I do this and film at the same time?